Interviews, whether with celebrities, an expert or a professional, can be a great way to explore a particular idea. But how do you turn an interview transcript into an article? There are four key steps to follow when writing up an interview for an article. Reviewing the transcript. A transcript is a word-for-word -word written copy of what is said in an interview. Before you start writing your article, you should read the transcript and think about what to include and what to leave out when you write up the interview, key details or recurring themes that you want to highlight in your article, and any information that needs checking with your subject before publication. It's a good idea to listen to the recorded interview again. Hearing the interviewee's voice will help you capture the tone of their responses and write a stronger article. Next, decide how to structure the article. There are two common ways of structuring an interview-based article. One is a question and answer format where each question is presented in turn and the answers follow. What made you approach writing your latest book in this way? I wanted to play with narrative forms and decided to experiment. To be honest, I was still prepared to scrap the whole idea and start again though. The other is a narrative form where you describe what happened during the interview using quotes to relay information. Taylor shrugs when asked about the writing style of her next album, saying she wanted to play with narrative forms and decided to experiment, though she was still prepared to scrap the whole idea and start again if she had to. This strikes me as a brave decision. You could even use a hybrid of these two approaches, framing a question and answer interview with narrative sections. When planning your article, think about which approach will best suit your interview. Edit for clarity and concision. When we speak, we often use more words than necessary. As a result, most interview-based articles are edited for clarity and concision. In practice, this usually means picking out the key details from the transcript and trimming down the unnecessary parts to communicate the same point more effectively. For example, the second version here is much clearer and easier to read because we've cut out the repetition plus filler words like um and just and focused on the core information. It is important to be careful when editing a transcript. You won't want to accidentally twist the subject's words or change their intentions. And if you need to rephrase something more thoroughly, it's worth checking with the interviewee to make sure they're happy with the changes you've made. In addition, if you have a publisher or you're using a particular style guide, check their instructions to see what kinds of changes you should or could make to your transcript. Review and redraft the article. Once you've written the first draft of your article, take some time away from it, overnight if possible. Then reread it and look for places where you could make improvements. This might include cutting irrelevant information to make the interview more focused, adding more context when introducing the interviewee or a new topic, fleshing out parts of the interview that feel underdeveloped, perhaps even getting in touch with the interviewee again to clarify or expand on certain things, or rearranging parts where the interviewee jumps between topics. The idea at this stage is to make the article as engaging and easy to follow as possible. However, as with the smaller edits you made earlier in the process, you won't want to misrepresent anything that your subject said in the interview. Ready to write up your interview article? I hope this video has given you some helpful guidance to get started. If you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more weekly writing tips. Your writing, proof.